Hello, you guys. You might be wondering why in the world there's a black screen, so please hold on for a second before you click off. Um, I just want to show you guys what the materials look like that you will be collecting today in case you've never seen them or you don't really know them by name. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to mine um, iron ignits, gold ignits, and green and red gemstones. So the pictures are up on the screen right now. I hope that helps a little bit. Uh, now on to the video. Alrighty, so in order to get these items here, the red gemstone and the gold ignit, you will need to go to a hotter region. And as you can see in the images right here, that's kind of the signs that you're in a hotter region. There's usually lava, black sand, and the ground is usually not grassy. It has gravel. So if you are looking for these two objects, then um, here's a clip on how to find them. So in order to get gold ignite, you do need to be in a hotter region, like I stated before. If you don't know how to find other um, places on the map, I'll show you that in a second. Um, I went in a cave because I tend to find more abundant sources in caves. Um, caves are pretty much all around any island that you go to. But you do not need to go into a cave to find a golden ignite. And yeah, so you don't need any specific items like a pickaxe. You will be able to get these um, items without any special materials. And for the red gemstone, you will find them in the same exact region. They won't always be on black sand because it kind of like kills you if you stand on it for too long. But um, yeah, same thing. You don't need any special uh, materials like a pickaxe. You can just mine it and um, get the red gemstone. So to find the next item, iron ignit um this one's actually way easier to find so you can find this pretty much almost anywhere you do not need to specifically travel to one region um where they are most commonly found is unlike other items um they are usually found in caves or around caves um you won't really find them scattered around the island unless you do travel to a hotter region um but yeah you can pretty much find them anywhere and they're really easy so i'm just going to show you guys a clip of me um, mining one. So the last thing that we have to collect is the green gemstone, which is actually kind of funny because it's only really found in one region, which is very like foresty areas. Um, one thing you have to be careful though, forest areas have flies and every area that you go to will have its own like predators, such as like with the hotter regions, I see like a, a lot more bats and I see a lot more, um, I think they're called antelope and there's also like deer and buffalo there. So it was like crazy. Um, but yeah, so where you're going to find green gemstone is basically scattered around forested areas. Um, you will most likely not find them in caves. Um, they are literally just scattered everywhere, so you do have to kind of look for them. Okay, so now this is pretty important. If you want to know how to find a new island in order to find new locations, I'm going to tell you. So you see that little hot air balloon down there, the little logo? That is a stranger's location, right? Let me zoom in on that. So there you can go on ahead and see that that is a stranger's location. So hypothetically, let's say I didn't already know this island was here. Let's say I know of another island. I live on another island, but I don't know of this one. So for example, um, down here scrolling down there uh, there's a little dot there and there's literally no island there but i do know that there is one um and that's because i've seen the stranger's balloon there before so if you have a the stranger's location on a random spot in the map that there is no island that means there is an island there so go on ahead and mark it um kind of like i'm showing here it, it's not very accurate for some reason but yeah so you can mark it and then visit it later and you know for sure there will be an island there instead of sailing endlessly for like five hours so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video if there's anything you're still confused on please let me know and i'll make a part two um if you'd like to come back for more please subscribe and i will see you guys next video bye